This is part three of my Chris Watts Two Years On podcast. And this segment is going to discuss this idea that many people still believe that Nicole played a greater role. Some even believe she was the mastermind. I'm going to start this discussion by saying I don't believe there is any evidence to support NK's involvement. And I'll be calling her NK from now on, I think. But I will discuss some of the reasons why people think she should have been charged also. As everyone who followed this case knows, NK was a co-worker of Chris Watts. They began an affair some weeks or months leading up to the murders. I do believe that Nicole was a catalyst for the murders and the reason why he ultimately made the the decision to annihilate his family. But I don't believe she was the sole reason for the murders. I believe that Chris Watts was battling one major life stressor, and that was financial burden, bankruptcy, and debt. I'm not going to go into detail about finances or place blame on anyone in particular. That's not what this discussion is about. But I do believe Chris Watts was frustrated and highly stressed about his finances. Added to that, he was finding fulfillment outside of his marriage. NK was an outlet. I think he was idealizing Nicole the way he may have idealized Shanann when he started dating her. He was in this financial hellhole with with three children to support when you include their unborn son. Chris Watts was no longer getting the narcissistic fuel he needed to have the desire to continue in his marriage. Being married to Shanann and continuing to be in debt wasn't a desirable option for him. They had already filed for bankruptcy once. There was a dark shadow lingering of financial ruin. Not an attractive option, especially when you have a new woman to entertain. So he's got this new woman who's providing him with the narcissistic supply that he wants. A woman who provides him with stimulation and who he's not actually financially obligated to. So he's just getting enjoyment and fulfillment out of being with Nicole. And he's no longer getting that with Shanann. So I don't describe to this notion of the evil scheming seductress who made the good guy turn on his family. That's a cop out. That is just an excuse for his despicable hate behavior and his uh, despicable crime. Okay, so I'm going to cite some of the reasons why people think that Nicole Kessinger was involved, NK. Why people think that she was involved or the orchestrator of this crime. So it has been said that Nicole looked at Shanann's Facebook page. People cite this as a reason for her guilt. Makes no sense to me whatsoever. It's only natural to be curious about the wife of the man you're having an affair with. To seek out your competition. That's all she was doing. Doesn't mean that she was plotting a murder against Shanann just because she looked at her Facebook page. Lots of people look at other people's Facebook pages for a variety of different reasons. It doesn't provide evidence that she was plotting a murder. Uh, Some people say her Google searches, um, you know, people say her Google searches um, support this claim that she, you know, might have been involved. It doesn't. You know, it came to light that she was looking at wedding dresses. Once again, does not count as any evidence, particularly if she believed Chris when he told her that he was separating from his wife. NK was 30. Only natural for her to be thinking about uh, a life with Chris Watts if she was in a relationship with him and if he was telling her that he would eventually separate from his wife and get a divorce. Uh, The fact that she was Googling adult websites, once again, means nothing. 
millions of people view adult websites on a monthly basis. That doesn't provide evidence that she planned this murder or orchestrated this murder. It doesn't provide any evidence at all. Um, it come to light that she Googled how much money Amber Fry got for her book deal. I think this tells you a lot about her lack of empathy, possible narcissism, uh, how self-absorbed she is. But once again, it does not provide evidence of a murder plot. People have said her phone pinged near the Watts house on the night of the murder. That doesn't mean she had anything to do with the planning or execution of the crime. NK lived and worked in Colorado. It's not as if she lived in another state and just happened to be in Colorado on the night. People cite her communication with Chris Watts on the day of the murder. Means nothing either. She was having an affair with him so the fact they spoke on the day of the crime doesn't provide evidence that she was scheming with him to get rid of his family. People have cited her eagerness to delete her texts and emails as evidence she's hiding something. Well, she was indeed hiding something. She sent Chris numerous raunchy photographs of herself and many of their conversations were adult or mature in nature. So it's no surprise that she wouldn't want strangers looking at her provocative photographs. Um, if NK had been at the house that night, the neighbour's camera would have shown that. She was not seen on any camera and there is no evidence that anyone else was at the crime scene. There is also no correspondence between NK and Watts about the murder. Killing, bodies, nothing like that. There is no mention of murder, murders plural, um, killing bodies, hiding bodies, um, disposing of bodies. There's absolutely no correspondence or communication of any murder plot whatsoever between Nicole Kessinger and Chris Watts. Neither does her Google searches provide evidence that she was looking at anything sinister or to do with a crime. Nicole Kessinger might be shallow, she may lack empathy. She might even be a narcissist. But there is absolutely no evidence whatsoever that she was involved. 